me. I think a bit of chuckle charm's going to be called for. How do you mean? Well, you know, whoever answers the door, be extra nice to them. Flattery. For instance, no matter how old they look, say, excuse me, miss, is your mother in? It never fails. Creeping, you mean? Can I do it? If you like. Fetch the chuckle sucker. Excuse us, miss. Is your mother in? <laughs> it means, can we speak to the householder? Do I? Yes, you do. All oh, right. I am the householder. Oh, in that case, chuckle dusters. Bless you. We've come to do for you. Have you now? In the nicest possible way, of course. You were supposed to be here hours ago. We had a bit of a mix-up, you see. Paul thought it was 49 the Avenue Berwick, and I said it was 49 Berwick Avenue. So we went to Berwick. We made good time, considering. It's a long way to Berwick. Nice tie. It's regimental. Oh, nice to meet you, Mr. Mental. In you go. Is there a Mrs. Mental? Hey! Where would you like us to start? 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 I'm not sure I want you to. You two don't strike me as being very efficient. Oh, 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 here. Oh, here, pull it, pull it, pull it out, pull it out, pull it out, pull it out. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Here. Don't you. <laughs> now, if you're worried about us moving anything, don't. We offer a full put-back service. Everything we move always goes back where it was when we started. Good. Well, we'll start with the door. It was closed and you were on the other side of it. <laughs> I do like a customer with a good sense of humour. You have got a good sense of humour, haven't you? I like to think so. Good. I think you'll need one. Pardon? Uh, I was talking to Paul. I said, I think you'll need this. Oh, thank you. In here, then, is it? <laughs> All right. I give up. It's obvious you're going to be harder to get rid of than the measles. But before I let you loose, I want you to know that I do a bit of modelling. You, you don't. don't. I do. You, you don't. don't. I do. Do, do you? you? Yes. Oh. Well, I never. What kind of modelling do you do, then? Matchsticks. Matchsticks? You look more of a cardigan man to me. I don't model them, you fool. I make models out of them. Look. Wow. Look at these, Barry. Leave. Don't touch. Those are very delicate and mustn't be disturbed. There are over 10,000 matchsticks in each of them. Fancy. Leave! <laughs> They're very good. Do you think so? Well, they are perfect in every detail. Well, I can see that. And Paul should know. He built a model himself, you know. Really? Mm. What of? Remember the Titanic? Oh, yes. But Paul built a model of the iceberg. Now, look. I want every speck of dust in the house removed. Nasty stuff, dust. Oh, I know. It sticks to all my models when I varnish them. Tell me about it. So I want every scrap moved. Hmm. Understood? Understood. It looks very clean anyway. Ah, yes, to the naked eye. But, I mean, there are invisible particles everywhere. What's a particle? Bit of an article. All right. I'm off down to the shops now, and I'm going to leave you to it. Any questions? Well, now that you ask, if mud baths are so good for the skin, how come rhinos are so wrinkly? I don't know. I just thought I'd ask. It's been bothering me for ages, that. Not that kind of a question. You'll have to excuse him. He does take things rather literally. I've never stolen a book in my life. You leave him to me and pop down to the shops. Thanks, I will. <laughs> Give me that. I told you not to touch anything. But I... No buts. Now get on with your work. Now remember, I'm a stickler for perfection. What am I? You're a stickleback for perfection. Stickler. Correct. So I want everything absolutely spot on. And that means there'll be no slacking. Got it? Got, Got it. it. Good. I'll carry out an inspection when you finish. We wouldn't have it any other way. Bye for now. I wonder if I'm doing the right thing. Right. Here's as good a place as any to start, I think. Do you think so? Perhaps we should start somewhere else till we get used to it. Maybe you're right. We wouldn't run a careless flick of a feather duster knocking over one of his precious models, would we? Where should we start, then? As far away from them as possible. Good idea. We'll try the bedroom. Get all the stuff. Not that I'm worried about damaging anything. Wallet. Here we are, then, Barry. You can do this room by yourself. What are you going to do? Sit and watch? Sit and watch? I'll be observing your dust management technique and pointing out a more efficient way of doing things. 
And where are you going to be observing from? Um, here. Oh. oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. That's torn it. It's not torn it, it's crushed it. How do you manage to do that? Me? You sat on it. This is no time to oppose and blame, Barry. Oh, I'm going to have to put this back together before he gets back over in stuck. As opposed to unstuck. Exactly. If there's some glue over there, I'll put it back together. That's all very well, but what was it? Uh, didn't you see? No. Only me. Quick, get out there. Whatever happens, don't lean back in this room. Right. Yeah, and while you're at it, try and find out what this was. Right. How am I going to do that? I don't know. Use your brains and bring it up in conversation. But be subtle about it. Right. Won't be long. Oh. You weren't long. No, silly me. I forgot my wallet. Silly you. <laughs> All started in the bedroom, have you? Oh, yes. Well, when we do a job, we like to do it top to bottom. But you haven't got a top, seeing as it's a bungalow, if you see what I mean. Hmm. Eh, uh, they're very good, those models. Have you got any more in the bedroom? Whereabouts in the bedroom? Oh, I don't know. Say, uh, on the bed under a sheet. Oh, that. Oh, yes, that's my latest project. I was hoping to enter it in the Millennium Model Competition. Really? What was it? Was it? I mean, uh, is it? Ah, it's a model of Nelson's flagship, HMS Victory. Why? Just interested. Thank you very much. Well, it's a model of Victoria's flagship, HMS Nelson. Great. What's it look like? I don't know. We'll go and find out. Can't you go? I'm busy, aren't I? It's always me. Um, this HMS Victory, what does it look like exactly? There's a painting of it on that wall. Oh, right. It's a flagship ship. Great. What's it look like? Um, he's got a painting of it on the wall. Well, that's no good, is it? You'll have to bring the painting in here. Hey, whatever you do, make sure he doesn't come in here. Where are you going with that painting? Eh? Uh, I just thought I'd take it away to be cleaned. There's no need to. It was cleaned last week by a professional art restorer, so just leave it. Right. Got it. Oh, <laughs> great. Let's see it then. That's not a flagship. No, but it's got a flagpole. Couldn't you do that bit and fill in best as you can? No, I can't. Go and get me the proper one. And make sure I'm not disturbed until I've finished. What happens if he wants to see you? We'll make up an excuse. What sort of excuse? I don't know. Anything. You'll think of something. Will I? Of course I will. I'll have to. Great. Good morning. Oops. Excuse me. It's quite all right. I never heard a thing. I meant excuse me. I want to get into the bedroom. Oh, why don't you go to the lounge? It's much nicer in there. Because I want to change my tie. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Now get out of my way. I can't. You can't? Well, maybe I can. But if you'd like to wait out here, I'll go and get your tie for you. I'm quite capable of getting my own tie, thank you. Unless there's something in there you don't want me to see. Eh, uh, well, yes, there is. It's Paul. Paul? I know what he looks like. Not a pretty sight, but nothing to worry about. Ah, oh, that's just it. I know he's not a pretty sight, but, uh, He's come down with something. Come down with something? What? Devonshire Duster Disease. Devonshire Duster Disease? I've never heard of it. Oh, it's quite common in dusting circles. Is it? Oh, it's passed on through little microbes found under the bed. Microbes? Like wardrobes, only smaller. It's very contagious. 
Contagious? Have you sent for the doctor? Oh, well, there's no need. I know exactly what to do. Oh. But you're not allowed in, I'm afraid, until I've fumigated the room. You fumigated it? Oh, yes. It's to kill the germs. Oh. If you insist on going in, I could let you, but I have to blindfold you first, because that's how the bug gets into your system. Oh. The disease itself doesn't last long, but the effects can be very nasty. Oh. Oh. Do you still want to go in? Uh, no, I've changed my mind. As a matter of fact, I think I'll have an open neck as well. Y Just a minute. If it's that contagious, how come you haven't caught it? Oh, I'm immune. I was exposed at a very early age. Hmm, I'm not surprised. Well, you seem to know what you're doing, so I'll leave you to it. I'm just going to pop down to the shops. Whew. Unless there's anything you want me to get for you. Oh, a cup of tea would be very nice. I'll make one. Can I have a biscuit as well, please? Not for you, for him. Oh, in that case, don't bother. He's not allowed any liquids. Suit yourself. But do what you can for him, will you? Because I hate to see a man suffer. One person suffering round here, that's me. Oh. Oh. It's okay, you can stop now. He's gone out again. Good. Hey, that was quick thinking on your part there. Was it? I've never thought quickly before. Where's the model? It's under here with me. Right, I'll go and get that other picture. Right. Oh dear, oh dear. What's up? I'm stuck to the bed. Hey? Oh no, the glue's gone everywhere. Give us a pull. To me. Uh, to me, to me. Oh, oh. oh no. I can't walk around like this all the time with the sheet stuck to me. It's OK. The effects of the glue will wear off after a while. Hey, it could take years. I can't walk around for years with the sheet stuck to me you know where. People will give me funny looks. Well, they do that anyway. No, there's only one thing for it. You're going to have to go and look for some glue remover. Right. What sort of glue remover? I don't know. Any. Right. Where shall I look? I don't know. Try the garage. The garage? Look, ask yourself this. If you had some glue remover, where would you keep it? Next to the glue. Yeah, well, he obviously doesn't, does he? No. So where would you put it? Um, I know. I'll try the garage. Good idea. Use. I couldn't find the glue remover, but I found something that should do the trick. Good. Now get on with it. I need it off quick. OK. I'll just go and plug it in. Plug it in? What? What do you think you're doing? I thought I'd sand it off. Forget it. Oh, there's no way you're coming anywhere near me with that thing. I'll sort it out myself later. Now, I've got to get this model put together. What do you want me to do? Well, firstly, you can go and get me the picture of that ship. And secondly? in the place. I'm afraid Paul's taken a turn for the worse. Has he now? Yeah, he's come out in bright yellow spots. And what was it you said he had again? Not again. He's never had it before. I know he hasn't. It's the disease I'm talking about. It's Devonshire Duster disease. Very nasty. And the symptoms are? Complete loss of voice. <laughs> Except in the most serious cases. That's what I thought you said. Hmm. So I popped into the library on my way home. And guess what I found out? You'd forgotten your library ticket? No. There's no such thing as Devonshire Duster disease. Now, what have you got to say to that? It could be Sheffield Sponge Syndrome. That's nearly as bad. Nearly as bad as what? Devonshire Duster disease. But there's no such thing as Devonshire Duster disease. Ah, that'll be it then. <laughs> you... Come... I... Let me in right now. There's something going on in there, and I mean to get to the bottom of it. Quick. He's on to us. Just five more minutes.
How's that? Wow, I didn't think he could do it. You know me, Barry. That's what I mean. What about this? Ooh, I had forgotten about that. Help me tuck it in. Right. <laughs> there, 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 there. That'll do, that'll do. Yeah. We'd better let him in before he starts getting suspicious. Right. What's been going on in here? Nothing. Ah, welcome back. Oh, you've made a remarkable recovery. Oh, yes, I have, haven't I? Uh, but we've cleaned up nicely. Look. Hey! What's that? Um, oh, uh, just a side effect. More of a backside effect. It certainly is. I'd get that seen to if I were you. I will, as soon as you've checked the place out. Why don't you start off in the lounge? Don't worry. I'm going to. Hmm. It looks all right. <laughs> yes. Well, remember what you said about being a perfectionist. That's right, I am. Have you noticed anything else? Why, yes. We thought we'd bring it in here for you. That's very kind of you. That's the same with the trouble of going to the bedroom and doing this. Ah! Ah! There. But, but, but... I thought you were going to enter it into a competition. I said I was hoping to enter it in a competition. But as I say, I'm a perfectionist, and that wasn't perfect. That's why I kept it in the bedroom. I've been meaning to do that for ages. Tea, anyone? Oh, what a laugh. Jack Thomas, who's 12 from North Ants, thanks for your letter. Don't let anyone in your English class say you can't watch Chucklevision. It's back next week at the same time on CBBC. Get yourselves a pen and paper ready because you'll be able to join in with a new observation game show next. See it, saw it with Mark Spade.